Hey, welcome back to the Inbound REM YouTube channel. My name is Robert Newman. I am the founder of Inbound REM. Today, we're going to be talking about IDX Broker. IDX Broker is uh, a tool that serves up properties and allows you to customize those property uh, pages on websites that you're building. Um, there's a lot of IDXs out there, which stands for Information Data Exchange. It's, there's actually a couple of uh, abbreviations for that acronym, um, but we're going to go with Information Data Exchange right now. And um, it's funny because I've, I haven't reviewed IDX Broker ever, which is weird because I've been using them for 15 years. And um, what I will say about IDX Broker is it's the best tool available for people who don't want to build their IDX and have the chops to customize IDX search results. If you cannot do that, it is not one of the best IDX services out there. There's many others like IDX Showcase or uh, iHome Finder that might do better for you. If all you want to do is plug in something into a WordPress website and then have properties show up on your site, if that's the total limits of your set, IDX Broker is probably not the best possible tool for you to be using. This is a uncustomized IDX broker site. In other words, we're just serving the properties on here. There was not much, much customization that's done using standard listing templates. That's these right here. And you can see that it's, uh, to be straight about it, it's not all that sexy. All right, we didn't adjust the size, the content, nothing. This is just a standard site with the IDX broker on it. Um, there's plenty of options out there that will serve you a better looking listings page um, and have more interesting features on it than what you're looking at. However, if you do have development chops, IDX Broker allows for some one of a kind functionality. What we do use it for is to get a RETS-like capability onto our websites, which just means I feed uh, IDX Broker through WordPress. I create a customized look and feel all these tags this is also idx broker and you can see it looks quite different than this okay and this this is the listings details page which we've designed and developed to match some of the common uh design themes that are out in the marketplace today okay and you can see that's really different than what you were just looking at on this site yet it's the same idx service all right. Another thing that we couldn't accomplish unless it was IDX Broker is we couldn't accomplish sending it through. If you look at Richmond Aliana Homes, Google can see this listing information on the site. That is speaking as if you are putting pretty data on the site. Google now knows it's a real estate so beyond a shadow of a doubt. Plus, it's got some information on Richmond in the Richmond page, which adds value. To the page it makes it slightly stickier it makes uh it's slightly more likely that somebody's going to click an element on the page which in turn raises the seo value of the page all of this is basically because we're using idx broker very other very few other search providers or idx providers will give you that kind of functionality showcase idx is an exception but they don't allow you to customize the pages the way that we, I've customized these templates 10 or 15 times over the years. And the, the way that I'm gathering leads, it's a custom feature that nobody else has. The way that I ask for information on the page, it's a custom feature. Showcase IDX and all the other IDX providers do not allow me as a developer who has development chops to customize my IDX across my client sites, which makes, the following statement true. IDX Broker on a scale of one to 10 is an eight or a nine if you're a developer with, with some kind of ability. It is a six or a seven max if you are not uh, somebody that has development chops or, or a relationship with a partner like me that has development chops, then IDX Broker is not gonna be a great choice for you. Um, IDX Broker does have some, the ability to create sites themselves and put them online. In comparison to other real estate sites, it's not very uh, price effective or 
product effective. The only advantage to it is, is that you do own the site. And if you're looking to get into a WordPress site that you own, it is a cheap and inexpensive way for you to do so. In those very few, in that very specific circumstance, I would say that IDX Broker has a good way for you to get online with a website that you own. Maybe you're a brand new agent. Um, there's other services that you could look at, though, like MailRite, my partner, my um, my business partner for the podcast, my podcast partner, uh, who I think would be just as cheap. So there's other people that you could look at that would be better options for owning, uh, getting into a WordPress website that you own at a very low cost um, and putting it online. IDX Broker is $79 a month, which puts it on the high side in terms of IDX services. Uh, once again, that price is very much worth it if you have a partner that knows what they're doing with it. Um, if you if you don't, then it's extraordinarily high. Now they have a lower fee, like I think this right here is their $39 a month option. So they have a less expensive option that you can look at. We exclusively use the $79 version because we're doing a lot with the tool. But um, either way, IDX Broker for Somebody with skill, development chops, it's an eight or nine without it's a six or seven, maybe even a five or a six. All right, thanks for tuning in.